Well, you know, it's not all just about uh, business, or, but it is about social networking. I bumped into two very familiar faces, Earl Brown from the Sutler Group, but he's not here talking about business, he's talking about one of his passions, music, we'll talk to Earl in a moment, and Eva, Eva Johnson, Eva. So you want to you want to chat about an event that you've organized, yep. and you, you're a girl who's organized many events over the years in Padia, and especially with our old friend Kavita. Yep. Uh, well, uh, I took over from Kavita. You took over from Kavita. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what is it? What's going on, Eva? Okay. Well, I've been promising Mercy Centre an event, but as you know, I've been travelling a lot this year, so yeah. this is it now. Earl and I were chatting one one day on Facebook, saying, yeah. "Was we're both soul music, soul okay. music aficionados?" Right. Okay. His dad and me. Yeah. Almost the same age, yeah, okay. I think. You right. said it. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Almost the same age. Anyway, so we were saying, like, let's do it. So we just said, right, let's do it. So I started organising, and we said Northern Soul. Now, anyone who's English out there will automatically know what Northern Soul is. English means British, by the way. British, yeah. Well, Northern Soul is a, is a music genre that came about in uh, the late 60s, 1968. Yeah. Started off in a twisted wheel in Manchester. Moved on to the Wigan Casino and then spread like wildfire through the whole of the UK. Okay. And uh, we decided that it's never been done in Thailand. All right. It's not just Padia. It's in. This is the first gig. So on the 25th of November, we are having the first ever Northern Soul Night all right. in Padia, and the, all the proceeds are in in aid of the Mercy Centre, which we all know and love, and we all know what a fabulous cause it is. Indeed. So you know. So basically, people come. Along a night of great music. Yep. Wait, what's the venue? Okay, the venue is uh, formerly Goodfellas. It's above the Blues Factory. Okay. They're, they're rebranding right now and uh, refurbishing. Okay. They've wiped out the pool tables, putting in a dance floor. Yay! Okay. So, okay, cool. uh, yep, it'll be really, really good. Um, we've got some fabulous sponsors, cash sponsors, alcohol sponsors. We're going to charge 300 baht at the door starting at 8 o'clock. Wow. And it is going to be two hours. Hours of free flow, yeah. San Miguel Light, this new this yeah. new alcohol that's on the market now called Tropical Cider, made in Thailand, All right. so quite All inexpensive. Right. They're bringing cases along. Uh, Montclair are supplying wine, and uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun with the music. Is going to be great. The whole point of this evening yeah. is the dance. The dance. The dance. Or the dancing. The dancing. The dancing. The right. northern soul. Is this? It, let me tell are, you. Are you going to give us a demonstration? Yeah, but I won't be doing the backflip. All right. In 1968, at the Twisted Wheel is where the backflip right. first started. Really. Okay. And this is actually still huge in the UK. Right. I couldn't believe it. I went there this year to a, a do in Bournemouth, yeah. and it was just fantastic. So there's a resurgence now, right? Oh, not a resurgence. Well, it's it's, it's actually, still going. It's actually never died. Right. Okay. It's never died. All right. Okay. So we're gonna, just going to have a great fun night. Okay. Apart from anything else, you know, right. it's just going to be a great fun so night. So 25th of November. 25th What's of Saturday, November. Is it? oh. It's a Friday. Okay. 25th of November. It's at uh, the club is going to be called Play. Now they're just about to launch okay. in about a week's time. Okay. It's formerly Goodfellas. It's above the walk, uh, above the Blues Factory. In Walking Street. Uh, yeah. Just off Walking Street, yeah. So it's a great, it's a beautiful bar and a great venue. So yeah. All right. Okay. Now, Errol, I was, I was going to ask you something stupid like, well, right. how did you get involved? But right, music, a great club, 300 baht entrance, free floor drinks for a couple right. hours. Sounds like a winner. It's got to be a winner, Paul. Uh, my story with the Northern Soul music, as you know, predominantly, I was into house music, late 80s and early 90s house music. But my father was a Northern Soul DJ, he's been a Northern Soul record collector since he was a kid. And while I was growing up, there was Northern Soul being played throughout the house. That gave me, I don't know, the love of dance music. Dance music is a wide genre. I don't mean dance music in the rave you hear in clubs, but dance music from the early days of funk, disco, and then soul, things like that. I mean, yeah, 
this. Um, my father played me a record, and I was when I was young, I was like not really my thing. But as I got older, I appreciate music more through DJ myself and appreciate the music. And I've seen that the massive scene in England now, people my age and younger than me, are still going to these Northern Soldiers now, and they're, they're new people we're bringing in, a new generation. Now the demographics really here in Pattaya for it. I'm sure, me and Ava are sure. There's people will come here, and we want to do it irregular. We're thinking about three months, that way every three months. But the people are here. We want to get them out and show them a really good time and show them real music, what had soul. I mean, these people are unknown artists, and they became famous in England and the underground scene. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I think it's going to be really good, really, really good. All right. So, how do, do do people have to? Do they just turn up on the night, or are you looking for? I know you've got a you've got a Facebook page set up already, right? Abs absolutely, yeah. I mean, the the, the key thing here is. Earl is 36. Mm. I'm, You're not. I'm 61, <laughs> and I'm proud of being 61. Well okay? done on you, darling. And this is this is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it, it's it, it's it, it, it's phenomenal. His yeah. father is younger than I am. You know, okay. and and but th this is just about the music and the dancing. You know, sure, it, sure. And, and I think once they grab a hold here. When we start to do this every three months, you know, we will get we we may have to find bigger venues sure. because it's going to be three four hundred people. Sure. I'm absolutely positive that they're so passionate about this, okay. and we've already we're already getting phenomenal feedback okay. from people out there that are saying, "Oh, okay, well, yeah, I guess this we're what, there. This is what people are looking for." Yeah. And you know, well, hats off to you guys because. It's you know people are always looking not not to not to make a niche market yeah. but this is obviously something uh, and I know from the amount of people that have clicked I'm going to attend or the likes yeah. on your Facebook that already it's garnered a lot of uh, a lot of people who are, who will be coming along. I hope so. I mean we you know I have to say that Paddy ML TV, Paddy ML, all the other media, uh, the radio stations, the TVs, the newspapers are all supporting us in this yeah, yeah. and they're all giving. They're all donating the time and space sure. to promote this. It's we, we are promoting this as a Northern Soul Night. Sure. You know, it, proceeds are going to the Mercy Centre. Sure. The next one we do will probably be for Tracy's Foundation. Sure. You know, it, everyone will be for a for a charity, but we're not promoting it as a charity. Oh. Uh, we're promoting this as this is we're here. Yeah, we're going to make a great event. Yeah. We, and by the way, some some charity is going to going to benefit. From They're going to ben benefit big time. All right. So there you go. We are here. Friday the 25th of November, Goodfellas, which is now going to be called what? Play. 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 Uh, in Walking Street, just beside the Blues Factory. 300 baht. Doors open at what time? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. It's going to be a great night. We'll certainly be there, PMTV, of course, as will all the other media. And why not? Because it's all for a good cause. And in this time, it's for the Mercy Centre. Okay, I've got one more person to speak to tonight. Tracy Cosgrove. The face, the woman who heads up the Melissa Cosgrove Children's Foundation as we sign off on the final Lighthouse Club of the year here at the Havana Bar. Thank you very much, Eva.